What's up guys? I am getting ready to head into my local Shields. Uh, I just got a call today that my new Hoyt Redworks is in. So I'm super excited. We're gonna get it all set up. My buddy Josh is gonna help me out. Uh, so I just can't get the smile off my face. I'm so ready to see this bow. Come on. Shields. As you can see, my Redworks Ultra came in. Super excited to open this. See what it looks like. Yeah. Woohoo! So while Josh is tweaking the draw length on this one, getting it set, I'm gonna start tearing off some of the accessories off my old bow, uh, my Carbon Defiant 34, and swapping it over. So the Hogfather's going over, and the QAD drop away rest, and uh, my bars and everything, that's all getting transferred over to the new bow. All right, so I've got my Carbon Defiant all stripped down. Um, took the bars off the sight, the rest. So you see she's kind of bare right now. And then Josh is over here tying in my new D loop. Tying in some knock sets right now. Find yourself a Bowtech who knows what he's doing. Like Josh. <laughs> Check the synchronization of the cams here and measure the draw length. 27 and a quarter. That's what it's at. Bottom out a little bit here. Uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm just putting the cams in sync with each other. And then we'll measure the specs and everything, make sure it's pretty much right on spec. And I'll have you feel 27 and a quarter, see what it's like. We can kind of adjust it from there. Let's throw the rest and the side on and then we can hop in there. We've got the rest and the bolt for it right there. Okay. All right, so my brother Ethan for Christmas went through Rattler Grips and made me a set of custom whitetail fit side plays for my bow. So they're gonna look just like these here, but they're made out of elk bone and engraved on it says whitetail fit and it has my uh, logo and decal, so. These are gonna look sweet. Thank you, Ethan. That was a super awesome gift.
Got the goods? Got the goods. These are gonna look slick. All right, so this is this is Chase. First of all, hi everybody. Uh, so this is the bow that he got. This is this is the Ultra too, right? Redworks Ultra. Also the Ultra target limb. Hold that thing up so I can get some good looks. So he got it in all black, and then he got target limbs for it. So that way you can get different color of limbs. He got it in metallic purple. It looks dope. Icy. So ice, so iced out. Those white strings look killer too. It accents the, the decals, mm -hmm. like the edge of the decals. The white string accents that really well. Yeah, it does. So are we just gonna double up on birds this year or what? Basically, yeah. Me, you, Tanner, Josh. You got the Ultra too, didn't you? Yeah. Ashton. We're gonna kill so many turkeys this spring. <laughs> Back to the better looking bow. <laughs> Sounds like a killer, he's already smacking arrows in there. Yeah. So that right there answers a lot of questions that are floating around online. Can you take the grip off of a Redworks bow? Yes, you can. It's just like a double-sided foam tape and then your actual mounting holes for your side plates are just right underneath that. You want me to just shoot it or you want to measure for a peep? Or? Go ahead and shoot. Shoot a couple of arrows, see what it's like. <laughs> Did you hear my elbow pop? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that road mic hurt it too. Oh, dude. Oh, that holds so well. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Here's the bragging board at Shields. And see that guy right there? That guy right there is that guy right there. <laughs> Josh killed that stud muley in Nebraska last year. Huge buck. What else we got on here? We got Chase. Chase, Chase, Chase. <laughs> he shot a really nice white tail too. Oh, here you go, here you go, Wes. A lot of y'all probably recognize that photo. Wes killed that bull. Him and I went out to Wyoming public ground uh, last September and uh, such an awesome hunt. Wes put an amazing shot on that bull. If you guys want to see the film from that hunt, I'll put a link in the description down below, but it is also on my channel. So we got all the accessories swapped over from the old bow. Went back in the lane, shot it, paper tuned it. Josh got my draw length just dialed in perfectly. It feels so much better. Um, and so now he's cutting the peep out of my old bow and we're gonna put the peep in this new string and uh, make sure that the housing on my hog father all lines up right. Uh, see if I need to move that um, the body of the hog father back further. See if it aligns with the housing on my peep a little bit better. But uh, so far it's shooting great. Paper tuned right out of the box. Pretty much not. We didn't, pretty much didn't have to do anything to it, right? Didn't make an adjustment. Didn't. Just put the draw length where it needed to be, and it literally paper tuned right out of the box, which is so cool.
three. That's about right. So just out of curiosity, we're gonna see what this bow chrono is at. So true 27 inch draw length, pulling 77 pounds and a 402 grain arrow. Let's see what she does. What's your best guess? Oh, you can't have me on the fly like that. I got a new power plate. 280. That's my guess. 280. <laughs> That's kicking. 280 feet per second. I'll take it. With my short little draw length, my stubby little arms, I'll take 280 feet per second. I shoot a 50 grain brass insert up front on those Easton hex, and uh, if it's anything like my other bow, my other bow is just, it drills them into targets and pass throughs on everything I shot with that bow. So, awesome bow setup. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Follow this guy, Bow Only Outdoors. Josh has got his own thing going. He's got his own brand with his buddy Micah. And they're killing it with the with all the video and the photos and stuff like that. So on Instagram, check out Bow Only Outdoors. And then YouTube is Bow Only Outdoors. You, Same thing? You bet. Okay, so Bow Only Outdoors on YouTube. I'll put a link in the bio, guys. Go check them out. Thank you so much, buddy. Thanks, Appreciate man. Appreciate it.